Good morning. Please be seated. Usually during the course of the year, we try to set Saturdays aside and offer the intention to the holy name of Jesus. The solemnity is actually held on January 2nd, but since our parish is named after the holy name of Jesus, we have continued with the different intentions to whether we have the solemnities of the apostles or feast of the apostles, solemnities of the Blessed Mother. We also use the, the traditions of the early saints and martyrs. And so on Saturdays, again, we offer prayer uh, for our parish uh, invoking the holy name of Jesus. And so you have the mass propers. Um, today is just going to be um, a quiet mass and ask that you just kind of follow along with us. Um, please turn to page eight and Wayne, if you would offer as we do every single day before we offer Holy Mass with the intention. Let us pray. Father, we have come into your presence to share an offering of the great sacrifice of your blessed Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and to receive the sacrament of his most sacred body and blood. We do so in remembrance of his life, passion, death, and resurrection, and in thanksgiving for all the blessings you have bestowed upon your holy church and upon us, your unworthy sinners. We wish to offer this Mass with all the love and contrition of which we are capable, and in conformity with the sacred intention of our Savior who instituted it. We desire, therefore, to offer this Mass and to receive Holy Communion for your greater glory, for the continual remembrance of the sacrifice of Christ, to thank you for all the blessings you have given us, to ask your help for the problem we have, to ask you to bless all our relatives and friends, and for those who have died, for our own special intentions today. That today as we gather at the table of the Lord, we offer this Holy Mass to the Holy Name of Jesus. And today we also remember St. Gerard, um, an early Christian saint. Bless the priest to whom we will make this offering. Bless all the people who are here to participate in this glorious action and all who would like to be here. Convert all sinners, preserve peace, and heal the anguish of the world, and have mercy on all the faithful departed. All these things we ask in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so that by following your holy will we may gain eternal salvation. Amen. Amen. And now, let us turn unto the altar of God and confess our sins. And now let us recite together the second act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God, May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority, vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. At the name of Jesus, every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Give thanks to the Lord and claim his name of all the ages and the of the world, proclaim how exalted in his name. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, for all the Amen. Good morning, Josh, Mary. Good morning. Um, were you going to receive communion today? No. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you gave to your Son Jesus the name which is above every other name. You taught us that there is none other through which we may be saved. May we in turn, who love and honor his name on earth, so rejoice with him in heaven. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, your loving compasses the world. Let the prayers that we offer to you this day for blessed Saint Gerard ever be a source of joy for us. May we imitate his example of righteousness so that when we are summoned by you, we may come readily and eagerly into your everlasting presence. All of this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit and art one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men, and being found in human form. He humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on the cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him, and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, so at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial song for today is Blessed Be the Name of the Lord Forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Praise the Lord. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from his time forth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the moon, the name of the Lord is praised. The Lord is high above all nations, and his glory above the heavens. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Who is like the Lord our God, who is seated on high, who looks <coughs> far down upon the heavens and the earth? Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Thank you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My mouth will speak your praises, Lord. 
all flesh will bless your holy name forever. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. Through Christ our Lord, amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Now the birth of Jesus Christ took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be with child of the Holy Spirit. And her husband Joseph, being a just man and unwilling to put her to shame, resolved to divorce her quietly. But as he considered this, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took his wife, but knew her not, until she had borne a son, and he called his name Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Today, as we gather at the table of the Lord, we offer this Mass again to the holy name of Jesus. And we ask that Jesus would watch over all of us and our loved ones, protect us through the holy angels of God. And all of this we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Today we also ask for the Lord's blessings for our barbecue uh, for tomorrow. And we are ever thankful that there are those who are willing to give up their time and talents to help make this church stronger and grow into the spirit of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Let us pray. I will praise you with all my heart. Glorify your name forever, Lord my God. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands have made, may be for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this wine and water, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands may be for us our spiritual drink. O Lord God, we ask that you receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you this day with humble and contrite hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, and bless the sacrifice which we have prepared for the glory of your most holy name. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. Receive this offering, most holy Trinity, which we make in the memory of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. And in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, may they whose memories we honor here on earth intercede for us in heaven through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God our Heavenly Father. 
May your blessing hallow our sacrifice offered in praise of the name of your Son. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord our God, at the intercession of blessed St. Gerard, may the gifts which we offer to you in this holy rite cleanse us and protect us. We ask all of this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right to give your thanks and praise. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. You gave your Son the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bend. And every tongue proclaim to the glory of God that Jesus Christ is Lord. Now that Jesus is born among us, may we always trust in the power of his name and praise him forever. Therefore, we join this day with the voices of the angels and archangels, with all the saints in the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please be seated. This morning, let us turn to page 92 and offer the Eucharistic prayer number five which is the canon of the Union of Utrecht. Blessed are you, God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father of mercy and God of all consolation, for you so loved the world that you gave your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. He then established the lasting memorial of your salvation, on the evening in which he willingly surrendered himself, he took bread, gave you thanks, blessed it, and broke it, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. When supper had ended, he took the cup. In the same way, he gave you thanks, blessed it, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. So we recall before you, Father, the incarnation of your Son, his words and deeds, how he humbled himself and obediently accepted death, even death, on the cross. Therefore you have raised him up and given him a name which is above every name, so that in heaven and under the earth every knee shall bow, and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ his Lord. We offer this sacrifice of your Son before you, Father, with praise and thanksgiving, and ask that you accept this oblation. Send your Holy Spirit, and fill these gifts with his life-giving power, that they may be for us the body and blood of your dearly beloved Son. Grant that the bread which we break may be the body of our Lord, and the cup over which we give thanks may be one with the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the company of Mary, the Mother of God, with your apostles and martyrs, 
with Holy Hildebrood and all the saints, together with Anthony, our Prime Bishop, and Paul, our Bishop, and with all bishops, priests, and deacons, as well as your whole church. We praise and glorify you and look forward to the coming of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father. Forever and ever. Let us pray with confidence for the Father and the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. The cup of blessing which we bless is in all the participation in the blood of Christ. The bread which we break. Is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread. We who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. May the union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you, do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. And now let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be unto you. Peace be unto you. And now, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This morning, let us pray together the first communion prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you. Is there anyone who will be receiving communion today? Okay. And can you do me a favor? Can you get me the, one of the bulletins that's on to the right of my sacristy? Switched around and we have the uh, spiritual <clears throat> communion in the other uh, missile. Those of you who will not be receiving today, we offer this act of spiritual communion. Let us pray. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. We will take the bread of heaven, and we will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed.
receive the body and the blood of Christ. Amen. Sure. Receive the body and the blood of Christ. Amen. Receive the body and the blood of Christ. Oh no. Receive the body and the blood of Christ. Amen. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Lord, may we possess with pure hearts that which we have taken as food, and may the gifts we have received this day bring us healing and strength now and forever. Amen. All the nations you have made shall come to bow before you, Lord, and give honor to your name. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty eternal God, our Creator and Redeemer, accept the sacrifice of our salvation which we have offered to honor, in honor, of the name of your Son, Jesus. Through the Holy Eucharist we have received, pour forth your grace upon us that we may have both peace and comfort in his name and assurance of life everlasting. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And let us pray. O Heavenly Father, you have given eternal life to your servant, the blessed Saint Gerard. Encouraged by his faithfulness, may we who have received the sacrament of this altar ever rejoice in the pledge of our own salvation. We ask all of this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit and our one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May the peace and the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon all of you and upon all your loved ones. And may we always keep in deepest respect the holy name of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Let us go forth and witness the Lord in our lives. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God.